but popular religion, when you say God, our culture has an idea what they think that is um, and certain assumptions. In 2005, Albert Muller Jr. published a work called Moralistic Therapeutic Deism. Well, that was a real seller of a title. Uh, <laughs> Moralistic Therapeutic Deism, The New American Religion. They're going to need a better caption for that. They're going to kind of sell it in the church. But his, but his analysis was based on surveys of 3,000 teens, that repository of wow. modern knowledge. <laughs> um, but he should have tweeted the book. But um, <laughs> anyway, it has become a very popular read, frankly, because it's just accurate. He surveys 3,000 teens about God, what they believe about God, and lo and behold, that pretty well is what the culture thinks. Um, and uh, I hear his undertones uh, of his analysis uh, repeatedly in popular conversations about God. He noted five primary aspects of this cultural version. One, a God exists, don't have to know who he is, but a God exists who created and ordered the world and watches over human life on earth. Kind of a general, when you say God, that's kind of, okay, he created us and he sort of watches over us. Two. God wants people to be good, nice, and fair to each other as taught in the Bible and by most world religions. Good, nice, and fair. Uh, three, the central goal of life is to be happy and to feel good about oneself. Yeah, how's that working out for you? Anyway, uh, <laughs> number four, God does not need to be particularly involved in one's life except when God is needed to resolve a problem. Yeah. And fifth, good people go to heaven when they die. And that guess goes back up to number two, good, nice, and fair. Because I sure don't want any people in heaven that aren't good, nice, and fair. Uh, when modern man becomes the measure of all things, then God becomes measured by the needs of modern man. 